Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for this one because in this video, we're discussing resistance. Now, I wanted to talk about resistance because I have a different perspective on resistance. Um, maybe it resonates with you, maybe it doesn't, but I do hope to provide ease with this message. And I'm looking down here at my notes. I have notes for this because I think there are some really good points about resistance that are worth talking about. Okay, resistance, what is resistance? Resistance typically is the word that we use to explain why a manifestation hasn't come into the 3D reality. Now, the thing about resistance is that it's not bad. Resistance is not bad. And the thing about resistance is you allow the amount of resistance in your life based off of how you view the resistance. For example, if I'm trying to manifest something and I believe that I have resistance, then I can create, you are so powerful that you can create resistance. Now, I don't think that resistance is bad. This is my perspective. I think there are a lot of thoughts your girl has a lot of thoughts in her head and I am very thankful that all of my thoughts do not manifest because that would just be chaotic. It would be unbearable. So I'm very thankful and grateful that a lot of the things that I think, a lot of the negative patterns, negative thought forms that I've had in my life, whether I've received those negative thought forms or I've conjured them up and have created worry, doubt, fears, anxieties, myself, very, very happy for that. So let's start off by appreciating the fact that resistance is in place. Now, the second thing that I wanted to say about resistance is that resistance, when flipped, when you flip your perspective on what resistance is, it becomes an ally. And what I mean by that is, a lot of the times what we're asking for when we're asking for a manifestation to come into pass and we want it done effortlessly, we want it here and now, we want that instant gratification, there is a buffer. And whether that buffer is 0 0.005 seconds or whether it takes a year, that is dependent on how much you already believe in the naturalness of the manifestation, right? So how do we go for the bigger goals and the the things that we believe have resistance to them this is what we do we become friends with resistance this is extremely powerful i just i just want to say here that when i'm going to go further into this concept but I just want to say, prepare yourself. Neville Goddard has talked about this. Florence Scovelshin has talked about this. Abdullah has talked about this. Many teachers that are very spiritually inclined talk about resistance and making it an ally. This is what we would call acceptance. When we turn resistance into acceptance, we are now allowing anything that does not serve us. We are now we are now lessening, right? We are now casting away, literally like a spell, we are casting away anything that does not align with our plan. Neville Goddard talks about this and he states that the only reason why we don't get what we want is because we sin, which the Bible has translated it many times before, but, but in the original text, Sin translates to missing the mark. So that's what it means. When you sin, that means you miss the mark. Makes sense, right? That would be logical. So when we are missing the mark, which we sin every day, right? According to scripture, we miss the mark every day. The point isn't to get it perfectly. The point isn't to manifest instantly even. The point is to feel the emotional state of consciousness and to come to terms every single time you manifest 
that you are the creator of your own reality. I truly believe that we are manifesting, that we are creating and exploring this earth in order to show ourselves how magnificent God is and the God, the Christ, the infinite intelligence that lives within us is indeed working in all of this. So I have an affirmation. It's Florence Govelshin inspired. And this is the affirmation that I have for you guys. My seeming obstacles are allies in disguise. They are stepping stones to my good. The way that Florence Govelshin, the way that she writes is very poetic. And it's, of course, she late 1800s, you know, she was born in a different time. So even the English language was very different back then. But oh my goodness, her affirmations are so lovely. Seeing resistance as a friend, as an ally, as something that has no choice but to help you in the plot of your movie dissolves. It crumbles away all of the resistance that you may have. So if that affirmation resonates with you, I highly suggest using it. Again, I would use it right before you go to bed and then right when you wake up in the morning and throughout the day if you so feel inclined, but you don't really need to. And before I end this video, I wanted to let you guys in on an update because your girl's Facebook was disabled. And because my Facebook has been disabled, it was linked to my Instagram, which was also banned. Guys, I can't even create a new Instagram account because the IP address, it's like some weird stuff. If anyone knows, if anyone knows somebody who works at Facebook, my 30 days are almost up and I, I have a 30 day window to get my profile back. Anyone, literally anyone, that would be wonderful. Aside from that, I'm saying all this because I know a lot of you guys would DM me via Instagram because some things you just want to talk about in private. And I really, I really was going with that avenue. I really liked that method of communication. But since that is now done, I feel like I'm moving in the direction of providing coaching. So I'm starting up a website. I'm getting all of the things together. It's, it's in the works and we're going to have that out hopefully by the end of next week. So I do want to talk to you guys about manifestation and your personal experiences to help anyone who may want that service. So just letting you guys know it will be here soon. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Okay. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.